This morning, two sail drones were launched from Fort George Island. So we control these remotely via satellite. There's a satellite connection, there's multiple antennas, multiple redundancy. So we're hoping we'll have constant communication throughout the hurricane. But to be honest, we've never tested you know, satellite communications through a hurricane. So again, it'll be a learning experience, but we're aiming to have full control and full real-time data during the storm as it passes. It's a first. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway spoke with the sail drone founder and CEO about today's launch. And these are two of the drones being launched today. Three others are being launched from the Virgin Islands. The calm before the storm. It's uncharted territory. Sail drone 1031 and 1040 are hunting hurricanes in the Atlantic, 50 to 250 miles off the coast of Jacksonville. We have never had certain real in situ surface measurements from the inside of a hurricane before. These are robots that are designed to do a very dangerous job. You're sending them somewhere where you wouldn't send a human to risk their life. These drones are designed to stand over 100 knots, over 100 miles an hour. Richard Jenkins is founder and CEO of SailDrone, a company that designs, manufactures, and operates unmanned surface vehicles. Computers powered by wind and solar sent to sea to collect crucial data on atmospheric and oceanic variables. From water currents to water temperatures, skin temperature, uh, dissolved oxygen, um, fluorometry, we have barometric pressure, wind speed direction, temperature, wave height, wave period. Critical science, the vital signs of the ocean during a hurricane. The data is real time um, and as soon as the first storm comes, we'll be getting real time data. Here along the first coast, these folks are seasoned when it comes to hurricanes and they know all too often at the very last minute, those storms can intensify. We don't know how to quantify the rate of change. So what you need is really precise in situ measurements to understand you know, that rate of transfer of heat and moisture to the storm. If we can do that, we can understand the intensity and hopefully better predict the landfall locations to safeguard people on shore. Tracking the tropics like never before, the three sail drones launched from Virgin Islands will capture the conception of storms, while sail drones 1031 and 1040 will collect data as the storms mature. In Jacksonville, Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station. Now, Jenkins says he believes this is the future for understanding the strength of hurricanes and for forecasting. This information goes directly to NOAA. These two drones will be retrieved from Jacksonville at the end of the 2021 hurricane season. Just fascinating. They look so fragile. I can't yeah. imagine that. They're going to survive. Amazing.